a hideout. Anybody with information is being asked to get a hold of the police. For first responders, every second counts when an emergency call comes in. So what if there was a way to predict where the next call was going to come from? According to Life EMS, there is, and it's something they use every day. Dave Spencer is live at Spectrum Hospital tonight to show us how the technology works. Dave? Janice, this is truly a case of history repeating itself. Looking at past 911 calls to determine where to position ambulances for future calls. It's all done in an effort to get to patients as quickly as possible. Medical dispatch. Caller, can you tell me exactly what happened? Life EMS has handled thousands of calls just like this since 2004. Each one is analyzed and stored in a database. This here is our current control center. Then, the information is used to predict the future. 104265. At Life Ambulance, they say they know when you are going to need an ambulance 10 minutes before you do. It's all here on the dispatcher's screen. Much like a weather radar, it shows um, graphically uh, in color where um, the next emergency call is going to be. It's called predictive deployment. It works by using past 911 calls. For example, they will look at all the prior calls from, say, a Wednesday night at 10 p.m., and by mapping it out, they try to predict where they'll be needed in the future. The system refreshes every 10 minutes. Now we look at the demand radar and we uh, determine the best place to position that ambulance. 257, show you transporting priority two to Butterworth. Life EMS has been using this software since 2009. We actually had crews that would question us. The ambulance crews, paramedic crews out on the road would question, why are we going there? We never go there. And within 10 minutes, they're going to a priority one a block and a half away. Tony Sorensen says on average, it shaves a minute off each call they respond to precious time when responding to things like a heart attack. One minute can make a difference in survivability. He says it works on the theory that our daily lives are predictable. When you drive to work, you probably drive the same route every time. When you go to the store to go grocery shop and you probably go to the same store, you probably even park in the same part of the parking lot. You probably even enter the same door um, of the store. Human behavior has been determined to be extremely predictable. And so this takes that to the next step, saying we know where the next emergency is going to come from. Absolutely. Yep. And we have learned from that and found it to be extremely accurate. So the next time you're out driving around town and see an ambulance parked in a lot, it's likely there for a reason. Like a giant game of chess, they are pieces strategically placed on the city grid. And the people moving the pieces are quite confident they're going to win. Now this technology is being used by Life EMS both here in Grand Rapids and Kalamazoo. In fact, the people at Life EMS have been asked to teach this technology to other agencies across the country. Live in Grand Rapids tonight, Dave Spencer, Fox 17 News. All eyes will be on Lansing tomorrow morning.